Welcome to Answerland, the Chubster Reader Q&A feature. This week, we're talking about chafing with a question from Andrew. I get chafing from my belt as I wear my pants under my belly. As I've aged and the belly hangs lower and rubs more on the leather, it's starting to hurt. Any suggestions? There are a few different things that you can do to make sure that your belt isn't rubbing into your skin in the way that you're talking about. The first thing is a pretty basic thing, but make sure that you are wearing an undershirt. Having an undershirt is a line of defense between your stomach and your belt. So the belt isn't rubbing directly on your skin, which is always painful. If you have that undershirt, it's gonna take care of that. And it's also gonna help you regulate sweat and really your body temperature. I always wear an undershirt and in case you don't, it's definitely something to consider. So another option is to just do away with leather belts altogether. Leather is made to be really tough and to stand up to just about anything, including your skin. So if you're not wearing leather, you could wear a different kind of belt, like a braided belt. So something like this, which is braided, it stretches and it's not as tough as leather, but it'll still get the job done. I wear braided belts a lot because they're easy to move around in and they kind of work with you as opposed to against you to just hold up your pants. So definitely consider something like this. For some guys, the problem is less about the leather on the belt, more about the buckle itself digging into their stomach. So what you can do with that, and this is something that uh, might take a little time to get used to, but it works, is move your belt buckle to the side. Just move it over like one loop. You put it in there, you don't have the buckle digging into your belly as much, and you're just dealing with leather in the front. The belt is still doing its job, but it's just kind of in a different place. It's not something that people are going to see as much, so you don't have to worry about that, and it's going to save you a lot of pain and a lot of anguish from a big piece of metal digging into your stomach. So that's definitely something to consider if you're having problems with the metal belt buckle. Finally, the last option, get rid of belts altogether. Yeah, try something different. Maybe you try suspenders. Maybe you try some different types of jeans that are more stretchy. You know, we always talk about stretch fabric being a wonderful thing. This could be the time that you try that in a pair of jeans that will actually fit you well. Now it's not gonna last and work forever, but it is something that you can try at least one or two days a week. You know, something that gives you a break from your leather belt and allows you to still wear your pants where they're supposed to be. You could even try pulling them up a little more. You know, get them up on, on your belly and kind of over that. I know most guys don't wear it that way, but it's something that you can try, see if it works for you. It's not always a bad thing, and it could be exactly what you're looking for. So those are my tips. Hopefully those will help you deal with your belt issues. If you have a question and you want us to answer it, you can reach out to us on social media at Chubster, C-H-U-B-S-T-R, on your favorite social network, or you can go to chubster.com, use the contact form at the top of the page, and send us your question directly. We might just answer it in a future episode. Be sure to subscribe so that you get more Answerland episodes and all of our new series that are coming up down the road. Ha 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 